Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we're checking out the Friedman BE100 Amp Sim from Brainworks. Now Brainworks has made some amazing sims for the UAD platform, but this sim here is meant for native systems, meaning it's gonna work with pretty much all the interfaces out there. It's not specific hardware dependent, and I think that's really great. This thing is meant to be like a Plexi on steroids or something like that, just basically an untamable beat. Now, when it comes to plexis, I normally think like classic British metal riffs like Priest and Maiden, not necessarily seven string stuff like that. Although I gotta admit, I kind of dig how thick that's sounding. I'm thinking more, you know, like. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Now, I got a chance to play a Plexi there a few years ago, and Pete Thorne put together a video where we all got together and played the first riff that came to mind, and I just remember the whole experience on playing a crank Plexi was kind of like, you know, kind of like riding a bull. It was, it was just so out of control and so much fun, and this sim really kind of has that kind of vibe. I mean, that's just cool. You get all the typical plexi controls, presence, bass, middle, treble, master, gain, clean volume, treble, and bass. And of course, you do get a clean channel here. Clean for a plexi anyway. It's got a bit of that, that plexi spank to it. I think that's really cool. But you've also got all these little dip switches down here. You got a fat control, which is gonna thicken up your low end. Uh, the C45, that's more of a mid-range thing. Saturation, again, to kind of scoop things out. Uh, you got two different voices and a three-way bright switch, which is only for the clean channel. Well, let's switch this over, just check a couple of the modes here. Let's turn off fat and C45 and change the saturation around. Oh, I like that. That's kind of got that 80s thrash thing going on. Pretty damn cool. Now, if you guys noticed, uh, this thing's got a built-in gate, and I think that's phenomenal because we've got such a noise issue here at this studio. It's got a We've got a dead spot like right about here and just having the gate in place just really makes life easy. That's just great. And we can dial in how much we're keeping. And uh, there's also a tight and smooth control, just basically a high frequency, low frequency roll off thing. Pre or post amp, that's great. Take some of the bottom out, take some of the top out. That's just great. And uh, what's really phenomenal here is there's just a massive amount of cabinet IRs to choose from. And what's really cool is there's an info page that's gonna tell you what cabinet, what speaker, and what mics are being used. And there's even an audition feature here, so it'll take you through all the different cabinets and you can find a tone real fast. All right, that's pretty cool. But I, I just love the fact that, you know, just moving the dip switches around is going to give you a pretty serious tone variation. <laughs> You go from thin to thick really fast, and that's super cool. I kind of like 
Kind of liking this right here. Of course, if you want that crank plexi raging bull kind of thing, uh, it's definitely got that in spades. <laughs> That's pretty freaking savage. And honestly, I'm kind of sitting here thinking, where's the amp? I can't believe this is coming out of a freaking plug-in. This is, this is really damn cool. Of course, we turn the info off. Uh, we've also got a couple extra features here as well. There's a built-in delay. We can just tap something out. Throw that on, throw in a bit of mix, a bit of feedback, and we should be good to go. <laughs> So that's really nice that that's included. And uh, one added feature here is you can bypass the preamp section and use it just as a tube amp sim clean. And you can also bypass the power amp in case you say you want to reamp into a real tube amp in the real world or something like that. And you can still get the, like, the preamp section of this amp. Send that out to a real amp, that should be a lot of fun. And of course, power soak, so if you really do want to blast it out. Get that authentic, you know, pushing the tubes sound. Now, I've got to stress this, I've said this numerous times, I'm not a shred guitar player. And uh, to try this out on a full mix, I brought in Mr. John Suki and Jackson Ward from Strata Recording to put this thing through its paces. Let's check it out. All right, so that's the Brainworks Friedman BE100 plugin. If you're after a raging plexi tone, I would definitely recommend checking this out. Links are in the description below, and I'll see you next time.